What is happening everybody? Dom here from Lens Pro To Go and Lens Rentals. Welcome back to the channel. So last week I did a kit overview of everything that comes in our Atomos Ninja V Plus kit. The monitor itself and the more basic accessories that we include with every monitor rental. This week as promised, I'm going to be breaking down this whole other suite of accessories that Atomos has rolled out pretty much simultaneously with the Ninja V Plus. Although, a lot of them are also compatible with the Ninja V, just given that identical form factor. And a trend you might notice as I go through these accessories is that basically all of them are like direct responses to pre-existing products out there that were commonly used with Ninja V recorders in the first place. When you kind of just look at the scope of all of these products, it's becoming pretty clear that Atomos, they were like, why not just develop a lot of these products ourselves and have every video solution in the whole entire pipeline be an Atomos product, which is obviously extremely smart and sounds pretty great if it works like that in practice. I'm not saying that it doesn't, I just haven't really done a deep dive to that degree quite yet. Okay, without wasting any time, let's chat about this Atomos Connect. Not to be confused with the similarly named but entirely different Atomos Connect 4K, which is right down here. This is a backing for the Ninja V that gives it several types of beefy networking hardware, including two powerful Wi-Fi 6 antennas, a dedicated antenna for camera to cloud shooting and direct streaming, very exciting, as well as an RJ45 network port capable of gigabit speed on ethernet and a 12G SDI in. It secures to the back of the Ninja V via its battery slot and then by these two mini screws on this like bracket on the side here. And then it just gives you the same battery slot but now like in the middle of the unit. You still have access to the SSD with the connect on but it is a bit harder to get in and out. I'm pretty sure that's what this little accessory is for. It just gives it like a little handle. And also you can tell they really tried to keep the heat management flowing in here in certain places too. And and then you just screw on the antennas and that's it. You don't have to boot it up in any of the special source modes, but this does unlock the SDI source mode. Now you have the option to boot it up in HDMI, SDI, or the cast mode, which wouldn't do anything right now. Also, you have to make sure that the Ninja V is updated to the 10.8.0 or later. I'm pretty sure that is the firmware update that allows it for the compatibility with this Connect. And this thing is going to unlock a lot of really sweet functionality that you wouldn't just get with the regular Ninja V or Ninja V Plus. A very cool one being C2C or camera to cloud recording, which is supported via Frame.io. This is a cutting edge feature and a perfectly good solution to a long standing problem in video collaboration, which is sharing video files remotely. This offers a perfectly good way for video teams to collaborate over devices and over long periods of time and distances for all parts of the production process from pre to post. The Connect is also going to allow for direct streaming to a lot of platforms that are built into this whole system here, including Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. And when I hear that functionality, I can't help but be reminded of the Teradek Video Go which was a device dedicated to pretty much the exact same thing. Both of those features I just mentioned, by the way, are done via the Atomos Cloud Studio, which exists only as a web page, I think, and not a mobile app. And all you need to do to get connected to that, pair the device via a three word phrase, and now under the Connect tab, it will show your status and let you disconnect as well. So on this web page here, you can see this is your jumping off point for live streaming to several different platforms, as well as a direct RTMP link for streaming. Also, this will be your point of access for that C2C shooting to frame IO. One more pretty awesome thing the Atomos Connect system is going to allow you to do, also a very practical thing, time code generation and wireless time code syncing. Atomos has special programming for this called Atomos Air Glue, which does this via Wi-Fi network or by generating its own network just for this purpose. And the product that this functionality reminds me of is the Tentacle Sync E system. Two little doohickeys that go on any single device you want to connect via time code and they will wirelessly jam sync a time code into each other. That system is incredible 
And so that means so is this. So let's quickly chat about this Atomos Connect 4K, which I mentioned before is confusingly similarly named to the digital backing for the Ninja V Plus, but have nearly nothing to do with each other. If this thing looks familiar, you might be reminded of the Elgato Cam Link, and rightfully so, it's pretty much the exact same thing. The Atomos Connect 4K is simply an HDMI to 3.1 USB type A capture device with no frills, doesn't need external power or any special programs to work or anything, just plugs right in, and as long as the computer can recognize it as such, it will capture a 4K video source up to 30p and a 1080 source up to 60 FPS. And up until this point, this has been the best solution that Atomos has offered for getting an HDMI camera to be used as a live streaming camera. And it is still probably the best solution for single camera stuff. But the second you go beyond that and want to get two cameras going, now you are encroaching on switcher territory. Introducing the next item on the docket, the Atom X Cast. Now if this thing looks familiar, remember our theme, you're probably thinking of the Blackmagic ATEM 4 HDMI switcher with accompanying live stream software. Bingo, with the Atom X Cast, we have a pretty similar concept. The Atom X Cast is also a backing accessory to the Ninja V or V Plus, but is built in a more typical Stream Deck design. It's slightly slanted upwards, these light up soft click buttons, all the inputs and outputs laid out in the rear panel, and of course, with the Ninja attached, this makes the perfect program monitor for a video switching scenario. And again, you have to go to the source tab and boot it up in the Atom X cast mode to power on the unit. And for those inputs and outputs, we have four full-size HDMI in, a full-size HDMI for program video out, a USB-C for computer connection, and the locking DC power in. And there is a lot of good programming going on in here. This is a really well thought out system. And right off the bat, I could see several ways setting up a multicam shoot using this system would be easier than on Blackmagic's ATEM system. One of those things being four cam multi-view, something that the ATEM Mini really should have had and didn't. You can also choose if the HDMI out signal is the program video, the previewed source, or that 4K multicam feed. This is so simple, yet so helpful, and was a feature that so many people were hoping that their ATEM switcher models did. And what is pretty dang sweet is this whole system right here can act as a standalone multicam program switcher, or via the USB connection to a computer, can just be interpreted as a regular webcam source. But a really great webcam source with tons of great programming and 4 cam switching to be used on several different streaming platforms. And of course, with the solid state drive being just built right in there, the whole program can be recorded while it's live streaming, so you can take that and deliver a cleaned up version afterwards. Again, another accessory where Atomos was like, hey, people are using these two products together all the time. Why don't we just make a product that rivals that, that kind of just makes this an all-in-one system, like an accessory to the Ninja V, but once it's connected to that, it's just like its own thing. And I happen to think the result of that decision was super, super cool. And moving on to the last Ninja V slash Ninja V plus accessory of the bunch here, the 12G SDI module. And this has actually been around for a little bit now. It was originally for the Ninja V, although this SDI module is specifically going to allow for something on the Ninja V plus. Rather than like a full backing replacement for the Ninja like the other accessories, the SDI module just takes up like the area of the battery slot and just juts it out another inch or so and gives you the same power slot on the back of it. Pretty straightforward here. This thing just gives the Ninja 2 12G SDI in slash outs. This is necessary for the obvious reason that the Ninja V and V Plus are HDMI only monitor slash recorders. And just like a few of these other accessories, the monitor has to boot up again in this SDI mode under the source tab. Now, when it comes to the Ninja V Plus, this is actually how you're going to record 4K 120 FPS 
in ProRes RAW from the Sony FX6 and FX9 because those cameras have different RAW outputs based on which video signal is going out over which. All right, everyone, so that is pretty much gonna do it on this video, reviewing a few of these accessories that take the already impressive Atomos Ninja V Plus and allow it to be used in a lot of more useful ways. From literally turning it into a totally self-contained multicam HDMI switcher to beefing it up so it becomes a totally seamless live streaming tool and bandwidth beast. As always, if you have any questions about any of the gear you saw in this video, whether it's just the Ninja V Plus recorder, any of the cameras that I used with the recorder, and of course, any of these accessories that I talked about in this video, you know what to do. Drop a comment in the comment section below and we'll start a discussion. Also, if you happen to like this video, you have excellent taste. You can let yourself know and everybody else know that you have excellent taste by hitting that little thumbs up button down by the description. While you're down there, if you're not subscribed already, what the heck, bro? Go ahead and subscribe, and if you are subscribed, you can hit that little bell button that's next to the subscribe button, and that'll keep you in the loop whenever we post new content. So, remember to accessorize, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll see you in the next one.